Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. And today, in this episode, I'm pressing tab. As you can see, we're not on my realm today. I was struggling to get onto my realm, and it was quite laggy at the minute. So I downloaded the world from the realm and transferred it to single player. So we are now playing in single player mode like we were at the very beginning. So... In this episode, we are going to be working on the mine we started a few episodes ago, and we should be finishing it today. Anyway, my goal is to finish it today, no matter how long it takes, because next episode, I want to start working on getting some enchanted items. Because I've been saving all the diamonds I find, and all the... just everything, really, until I get an enchantment table. We have still got the diamond pickaxe in one of these chests that we created to make the enchantment table. Yeah, there. And that's going to be the first thing we enchant. But, also, before we get started, I want to take this diamond horse armor and place it on lightning. Because lightning isn't lightning without his beautiful, beautiful diamond horse armor. So we are going to hop up here over the bushes just to go and see Lightning and Leonardo, of course, but Leonardo is pretty much set up. We will be naming these, I figured it's worth mentioning mentioning that. We are going to name them at some point. Like I said, want to enchant first, because as you can see I've got 52 levels, so I kind of want to use those for enchanting until I'm down to level 27, and then I can name all my pets and things like that. Plus, I only have um, free name tags currently, so we can only name uh, f um, three more things. We've already named Buddy. We're going to name Lightning and Leonardo. And then we've got all of these cats to name as well, including Puss in Boots over in the swamp and Shrek and Fiona over in the swamp too. So we're going to be a bit busy trying to get name tags and things like that. We will fish at some point. I keep meaning to and I keep forgetting to as well. This has changed a little bit. I'll show you what's happened. This has also changed a little bit. I'll show you off that. Basically, like I was saying, I mean, yeah, we're going to be fishing soon at some point. Don't know when, but we will be, I promise you that. We will also, after fishing a few things for ourselves, we will make an AFK fisher just to speed things up a little bit. I'm not doing it to get mending or levels or anything like that. It's just name tags, really. Name tags are the only thing I actually care about. I think I've mentioned before in a few episodes that I really like pets in Minecraft. That's it. It's just the animals. I, I, I'll often name pigs, sheep, cows, chickens, dogs, cats, llamas, horses, donkeys, mules, every mob you can think of in the game, even hostile mobs sometimes, I name. So, I just wanted to let you know if we do AFK fish, it'll be purely for that, really. And also, before we get started, actually, no, okay. Before I run off to the chest room, I'll show you this. Okay, so when we created this world, there was a Podzol like little, like, I don't know, it just sort of stood out and just sort of was in the way constantly. You always had to go round it and things like that. And I didn't want to get rid of it, okay, because it's all, it's been sort of like, maybe not to you guys, but it's been quite a big thing, I guess, in this world. Like one of the main features I've sort of noticed. So... In order to keep that, I decided to make it into some kind of rock that's sort of come out of the ground. It's not a um, stalagmite, because it's not in a cave. I don't think stalagmites can be out of caves, but it's not that anyway. So it's just a big rock. I went for a little bit of cobble and a little bit of mossy cobble. Didn't like how it looked, so for now we're just sticking with this fully mossy, um, not mossy, mossy cobble. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really nice. So I feel like that could just stay there just for a little bit of atmosphere. And this, okay. So, I was working on a creative world because I was struggling to come up with something in survival. And I don't want to do things on survival off camera that are going to have a big impact on the series. So this one, I wanted to try my, ha my try go at freehand. I had an idea for what I wanted to do. I planned it out in the survival world. But then I made the palette as well, and I wanted to make sure that everything worked together. So I did a small little mock-up in a creative world, liked how it looked. So this is what we're going for. I worked out the mine entrance. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to have to expand this little dirt mound out a little bit, which I'm fine with. We're going to keep everything where it was before, but it's all going to look like this going down. I showed it off a few episodes ago. And we're also keeping this, okay? So 
This is the main base, or the first base we ever sort of really had. This is the birch door that was on there. We're going to use it for something. We've got some lovely, creepy Minecraft noises, as always. Going to be keeping this. I don't know what I'm going to be using it for. Maybe a chair, maybe something like that. The idea is this is going to be like the main miner's, like, little cabin area. It's not a cabin, but this is going to be his little living area, I suppose. And I'll deck that out outside the episode. Not going to do it inside the episode because it's just a little bit, bit of a detail. But, now that I've shown that off, I think it looks a little bit nice, you know? We've got the stone stairs and everything, and we've got all of this. We're getting some plant life in here as well. It's not going to be on all of them, but it's going to be on most of them. Anyway, that's the idea. But we do need to go ahead and grab a few leaves from our chest room. And I plan to actually... I took a deep breath there. Sorry if you guys heard that. I plan to um, do most of it off camera, but then come back or record it while I'm doing it but then cut that out of the episode, and then cut back when it's done so I can then show it off. So that's that's what I'm going for. Anyway, so we want some oak leaves, and we also want some birch leaves. We've got a few there, but we're also going to need some of these ones, so we'll take about that many. Yeah, 30 should be fine. We also may need some... We may need some flowers, but we also may need some grass... Might take a little bit more of that. And we're going to need some ferns too. And we're going to bone meal those up so they're all nice and big. So, yeah, I'll also go down the stairs and show you guys where we're going to get started. So we're going to get started on the main area of the mine, which is going to be way down below. And then I'll make my way up and just sort of deck out this area is the main idea anyway. So this is all going to be, the stairs are going to be the same. The walls are going to be all textured and the roof is going to be stone and andesite, I believe. And then this is going to look all nice. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with this. Also, most of this burnt down. Some of this burnt down as well outside of the episode. So I had to turn fire tick off. Okay, I didn't want to. But also it's probably going to help us out in the future anyway. Having fire tick off in case we want to work with lava or fire or that kind of thing. So I did have to turn fire tick off because this all burnt down. Even though I blocked off most of the lava. So that was a little bit annoying. But it's fine because it's going to look all nice. So I'm going to get started on this and I'll be back when it's pretty much done or with a progress update. Okay, I'll be back then. Okay, so progress report number one. We have got the main sort of structure for the roof done. I am going to have to add in a few more leaves. I'm also going to have to run up to my chest room again because as you can see I'm pretty much out of spruce wood that I had on me so I'm gonna have to go and run up and do some of that but I figured it's been about <laughs> 10 minutes I guess since the last part you saw for me anyway for you it's been instant but you know so I figured I'd show off what I came up with of course we had this I decided to add in a little bit more spruce up there because I didn't want more of the logs I'm glad I went for that design with the stripped wood because I wouldn't have done that originally and because I took that risk I actually found something that I really liked. So we're going for that all the way through and then as you can see I brought in some spruce beams all the way across and then some dark oak slabs. Like I said I'm going to be adding some leaves in here as well to make it look like, the, like nature is coming down and everything like that. That's just a style I actually really like. And that's what we're going to be using for this area anyway. We'll try something else in a different area for like the orcish area or the fairy, elven, whatever. Maybe some goblins somewhere. I don't know yet. But this is what it's going to look like for this area. So now that I've shown that off, I guess I'll be right back again. Let you know when i got another progress report. See you soon. Okay, so <laughs> progress report number two. And I bet you're wondering why I was laughing right then. It's because I'm actually currently an hour into recording this. Yeah. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. Probably not very long for you, but it's actually been quite a while for me. I think this is the longest I've actually spent on a video ever. And I haven't even edited it yet. Edited it? Edited? Yes. Edited it. Edited it. Edited it. And... <sighs> yes. I've been busy as you can see. So this is the main downstairs area. I am also 
working on it because of the way I built this the you can actually see this part of the wall here so I've been working on a way trying to like hide it I think we're gonna add in like an oak trap door or something like that just to make it look a bit run down but I think it's starting to look really nice I'm gonna be adding in a little bit more core stuff probably outside of the episode because kind of need to get started up here because I haven't even done any of that yet which it's kind of a problem because I need to get that done. I don't need to, but I want to because, like I said, I want to enchant next episode and build the enchantment tower or cabin, whatever I decide on doing. But I just wanted to sort of show off this area. So we've got the majority of it done now. I think pretty much uh, this downstairs area is pretty much done. We just got to add in some more chests. Um, we've got some furnaces. I had to smell up some stone because I actually nearly ran out. Which wouldn't have been too good for us. So, I just wanted to sort of show this off. We will be mining in these at some point. I also blocked off the diamonds, but we know where they are. They're just behind this mossy cobble. So once we get fortune free, we can come back and get those. I'm very confident that we're going to get fortune free, okay? So, now that I've shown off all of this, I guess time to spend another half an hour doing the rest of this. So... <sighs> I'll see you all then. Welcome back for the third time. Um, I've been recording for a little over an hour and a half now. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm driving my family crazy downstairs right now because they're waiting for me to finish. And this is taking a lot longer than I had planned for it to. I said, ah, don't worry, I'll only be about an hour an hour and a half later, probably two hours by the time I've actually finished this. So, I mean, I'm actually really proud of what I've built so far. So, I suppose it's not all bad. But, you've seen this area already. I did go ahead and add a flower in right here. I'll also be working out some, um... I don't even know what I was then going to say. I don't know. Got to fill all these chests up. Ah, that's what I was going to say gotta figure out a way to put some of um, like the flowers and the grass and the ferns um, throughout the rest of this area but I'll do that off camera as well as some of this so as you can see here these details with like the slabs and the stairs I haven't done those all the way up I stopped after a while nearly ran out of oh no I have ran out of mossy cobble so had to plant some vines so we've run out of that but Outside of the video, I'll go ahead and add in those little details because they're not very important right now. So for now, I think this looks very, very nice. It's night time as well. So we're going to have to go ahead and sleep. It's raining too, which is kind of annoying. We're going to sleep in this miner's bed right quick. There we go. I don't know. I feel like we should name this guy or whoever it is that's going to be owning the mine. I don't know. The head, the chief mine? Foreman? I don't know, maybe someone like that. We'll work something out and I'll do this off camera as well and show it off next episode. See, now my only issue is, is that I don't know how long this video is going to be for you guys. Because, like I said, for me it's been, it's actually been an hour and 35 minutes. So by the time I cut all that down to just me showing everything off, not sure exactly how long this is going to end up being but we do need to go ahead and make a few lanterns actually so if we do this we turn those into nuggets we can go ahead and make two lanterns real quick just like that easy peasy and again don't know why i did it like that could have just done it in one go but i think we're actually done for the most part with all of these plants so we can put the grass back in <laughs> we nearly ran out of grass too which Never thought would happen, but hey, it did. So we're also going to put the, our peonies back too. We can put the coal away up here. And the granite we'll just dump in this chest for now. As well as the gravel. Actually, no, we have a gravel chest right up here. There we go. We can pop that in there. Where did it go? There it went. Okay, we can put this away in this chest too. We've got some oak wood. I know you guys just love watching me organize my chests, of course, because why wouldn't you? Joking, by the way. We're going to put most of our stone materials away in this chest because we don't actually need them anymore. This bit is going to be done 
on camera, kind of, but also kind of off camera. We need to go and grab some more birch leaves because we did run out. Okay, there we go. So what else? Oh, punched my mic. Sorry about that. If that hurt any of your ears. We do need um, all of these. We do need these. So we'll take these. But then also we need some of these, which we'll take just like that. But then we're going to have to run all the way down the mine again. Because um, I left my spruce wood down there when I emptied my inventory. I am, I'll admit, I do really like how this is turning out. I mean, there's still quite a bit of work left to do. But I am liking how it's looking. And I'm just excited to get mining in it, to be fair, because we haven't used it to mine yet. All these stores are just pretty much empty, minus the ones that already have the cave behind them. But we will do an episode where we just mine in these and see what we can find. That'll probably be after we do the enchanting. So there we go. There's our spruce. And turns out we don't actually have that much down here. I thought we had a lot more than we do, but turns out we don't. Okay, is there anything else in here that I'm going to need? I don't think so. All right, then. Okay, so I will do the majority of this on camera. The only issue is, is that I don't actually remember exactly how to do it. So if there's a pause here, it's because I went into a creative world on my creative world to work out exactly how this is going to look. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that real quick and I will be right back. So, welcome back once again. After going in and out of my creative world for a bit, I have worked out exactly where everything needs to go. So we need... I did do a little bit, I forgot to mention, <laughs> I did a little bit just to remember where the majority of everything is going to go. I believe there's going to be a spruce slab like that. Yeah, I think that looks about right. Then there's going to be a slab there with two trap doors on top. We are going to have to make some more trap doors. I know we have some in the chest room. Should have grabbed them, but I forgot we didn't have any. So, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's looking about right. And then, I believe, there's going to be a stair here. Then, a slab on the same level. And we need one trap door, so we might as well just go and grab it from inside here. Since it's not going to take too long to run up here anyway. The world is really starting to come together as well. I always forget which chest is which. I really should label them, but then the signs would create too much lag and my laptop probably couldn't handle it. So we're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to try and memorize where everything is, which for the most part I have. But yeah, like I was saying, this world is really starting to come together. I think it's actually looking really, really nice so far. I mean, we've got our chest room over there. Oh, it's a little bit laggy. I apologize for that. I did have to load the world in just a moment ago, but we've got our nice little chest room over there. Then we've got our log cabin up there, which we can't really see. We've got a beautiful rock here. Don't know why I like it so much. I just do. Then we've got our mine here, which isn't done yet, but will be because we're going to finish it off here together. So we need to terraform now. And then after that, it's complete, really, and that is everything, I believe, minus the things I have to do outside of the episode. But other than that, it's pretty much done once we terraform. So there is going to be a little bit of exposed stone. I apologize for that, but I mean, it, it'll look fine. I'll make it look fine anyway. So we're just going to terraform this. The podzol is kind of annoying because you can't, you can't break it, or you have to break it to turn it into dirt. You can't, like, hoe it or use a shovel on it or anything like that, which is a little bit irritating, but we can work with that. We can work with it. So if we come around like this, we are going to have to break. I also don't have a shovel. I know, probably should have made one, but, I mean, it's not too difficult to break dirt with your fist anyway, so I'm not overly worried. We're going to go ahead. Let's see how it's looking so far. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, I was going to break, I was going to place this like that, but I don't like that. So we're going to leave that gap. We're trying to make it look like Minecraft terrain as much as possible. I mean, it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but once you sort of get the hang of it, it's a little bit easier. But question is, can we see that? Yes, we can on the inside. 
See, that's going to be a little bit irritating there, but it should be fine. We can just build this all the way down like this, and then maybe go like that. How does that look? Doesn't look terrible. We might have to put something here. I don't know what. Maybe a torch. Maybe a flower pot, actually. That could work. Right, so now we can just share that so we can use those in the future. We're going to break all of this podzol. Told you it's annoying. We have to break every single one just so we can't see it. There we go. And I believe that's nearly done. We're going to keep that one broken, actually, because I prefer how it looks without... How does that look? Not bad. I don't like this, so we're going to break that. But then... This is pretty much done. I mean, there's not much left to do, really. How does that look from down there? Not bad, really. I mean, this bit is the bit that's annoying me. But if we break that, then we're going to be able to see that stone. And I don't want to be able to see that. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Actually, I have the perfect idea. Boom. Problem solved. No, you can't really see it. We are going to put... Um, like a flower pot there or something. I completely forgot that we had the leaves on us. So that kind of solved our problem right then. So we're going to come around like this. Going to break all of this because we want it to be grass up here. We want the grass to spread over on the top. I did lag a little bit there. That's why it, <laughs> it lagged back for some reason. But we're going to go ahead and break this podzol too. There we go. And we're going to fill all of this in with dirt, and then that should be it finished. Yeah, I think that's about it. Unless we don't... No, we don't, actually. That should be fine. We may add in a few more leaves around here, but I think for the most part that's done. We will also go around. I'll add in some grass and, like, ferns and things like that, some leaves and foliage on top and I think we're gonna sleep real quick because it's gonna give me um, it's gonna be night time real soon you can probably tell that I'm rushing on my words just because of how long this episode has taken to make this is definitely one of the longest videos or the most effort I've put into one of my videos in a while to be fair especially considering how much building I had to do in the episode I really like this series actually it is very time consuming though, especially when trying to keep up with Craft and Dead and Fear the Craft and Dead as well as this. It's definitely very difficult, especially considering it's half term holidays here in the UK currently, so that doesn't really help either. It's hard to find time that's quite enough to record. But then, okay, let's see. I like how I said I'll do this off camera and then I start doing it on camera. Just one more. One more leaf, okay? I like these bushy leaves, okay? I like placing them. They're they're great. I love it. But, anyway. So, we might as well, I guess, show, do one big show-off of what we've built. We didn't build that, but I want to show off my good old rock there anyway. So, this is the entrance to the mine. Should we turn on the... Ah, cinematic camera. There we go. Okay. Cinematic camera off. Okay, boom. Crafting table, gone. In my inventory. Okay. Cinematic camera on again. Okay. Are you ready for this? Beautiful rock, of course. And then we've got our nice little mine entrance right there. I think it looks really nice. I really do. I think I'm really proud of this. I don't think normally I'd find a picture on Google Images or something and try and build something based off of that, but this believe it or not, was actually, I did, I googled one image, and that was about it. The rest, I actually came up with myself, which I'm really impressed with. I will fix that torch, don't you worry, I will do it. I will also finish the roof and everything, but it's safe to say, I think you can tell, but it's safe to say I am very, very happy with how this turned out. I mean, I had a plan in my mind, and to be fair... This is pretty much exactly what I had in my head. I mean, normally when I build things in Minecraft, usually they don't turn out how I want them to. But this, for what I was picturing, really worked out, actually. Considering um, it was pretty much made all on survival. I mean, it was all made on survival in this world, but 
talking about the creative world, saying about how I'm trying to do freehand, but I mean, most of this was freehand, to be fair. So I am very, very happy with how this all turned out. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, well, I have. I mean, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out very, very soon. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.